<laughs> Cathay Pacific's accidentally offered super cheap tickets for the second time. They did so by accident. The, more, the South China Morning Post says a business class flight from Portugal to Hong Kong was advertised for just $1,500. $1,500. Now, CNN found a flight on the same route costing nearly $11,000. The airline is honouring tickets by anyone bought at the lower price. It says an input issue was to blame. Well, all this would be fair and good, except on New Year's Day, Cathay made a similar blunder with fares from Vietnam. And, of course, Cathay is getting a reputation for slip-ups and not so little ones. Let us never forget that... Uh, one of its... Uh, it had a computer breach of exposed the data of 9 million customers, and then in September there was... the airline misspelt its own name on the side of the plane. The Pacific... There's, some, there's an F missing in Pacific. Ben Schlafberg is from the blog One Mile at a Time. He joins me now from Miami in Florida. Uh, good to see you, Ben. Firstly, hi, I mean, this, sec this first... this second ticketing mistake, Airline ticketing is very complicated, but two mistakes like this from the same airline in two months? It is extremely common for this to actually happen. I think what is surprising is that it actually went public. What often happens is that airlines make mistakes in the background, but as consumers, we never actually realize it because airlines are filing millions of different fares and most of them are never actually seen by us. So the fact that both got picked up here is really what the big story is. Um, and in both cases, I think hundreds, if not thousands of people took advantage of these amazing fares. Cathay could have said this was a mistake uh, and we are avoiding the tickets and we'll give you 10% off the other ticket. But, I mean, the airlines tend to always honour the tickets. Well, so back in the day, the U.S. Department of Transportation required airlines to honour these mistake fares. Uh, but a few years back, they changed their policy and they no longer require that. Uh, the rule now is that if you book any other non-refundable travel based on reliance on those tickets, um, they would need to reimburse you for those things. But in reality, they still honor these a surprising amount of time. Uh, because I'd say if they come out quickly within 24 hours and say, oops, we messed up, most people would understand. But, I mean, this is an amazing thing that they honored. Ben, I know from reading your blog, the way these things move very fast. Somebody discovers it, buys it, and immediately either lets you know or goes on one of the Flyer Talk or one of the other sites. Exactly. I mean, so I was actually on New Year's Eve on the treadmill and I saw an email come in from a reader who advised me of this fair. Um, I ran up and I wrote about it right away. And uh, within a few hours, it was on, I think, hundreds of different websites. Um, and I'm sure thousands of people booked at that point. So these really tend to go viral, which is the part that's scary for the airlines and cool for consumers, because um, it's not totally unattainable to take advantage of these. The question is whether or not the airline will honor it. And, of course, they have okay. an issue where when a lot of people book it, um, there's a lot more risk, obviously. They could Fine. be losing tens of millions of dollars. Finally, Ben, the Cathay had the first mistake, then the second mistake, and then they couldn't even paint their own name correctly. Look, I know there's no comparison or connection between any of these mistakes, except, except, arguably, supervision, care to detail, that sort of thing. Can we make that point, or is it a, is it a stretch too far? I think the point can be made, but I think a lot of airlines make a lot of mistakes nowadays. I mean, airlines are not very popular companies. When you look at the data breaches that other airlines have had, um, there have been a lot of issues. Um, so I wouldn't give them too hard of a time. Uh, rather, I'm just grateful they honored these fares because I look forward to flying from Vietnam to the U.S. in first class for $800. And who isn't? You bought one. You got one. Uh, I only bought one, so that's not very greedy. I know a lot of people who bought, you know, a dozen. Um, so they'll just spend the whole year shuttling back and forth, uh, you know, shoveling down caviar. Yeah, well, thank you very much. You didn't text me about it before you bought it. Give me a heads up. Thank you very much. Then, Shabik from Miami.